I think we can all agree that clicking a button is the most satisfying thing in the world, especially when it leads to potentially rare and valuable upgrades. Eventually we're gonna get outstanding amazing things, we're gonna upgrade two random abilities, one of which was my clicking, so 4 points per click. While we're at it, okay, 6 points per click. So far we're very consistent, and consistent is not normally something I am. I guess we'll also bring in some idle clicking at this point, some idle income, that way we don't have to work quite so hard. When you offered an uncommon pistol, you take it. We're gonna upgrade that pistol, there's nothing like a little bit of casual murder to pass the time. And then we'll go back to just simply taking more points, we went from 7 to 11 per click. One thing I will take, defense plus, that gives us more health, but more importantly health regeneration. I'm not saying we're going to get hit, but there's a high likelihood that we'll get touched at some point. But because we're getting snipers to spawn, we are going to need more damage to the pistol. That's actually a huge increase. Common level upgrades, but we're going to take more points to take us from 11 uh, all the way up to 20 per click. Because we need to keep upgrading ourselves as well. And it's easy. When I get into trouble, I just need to click harder. And that's considered my exercise for the day as well. We're going to take the student's magic book to upgrade two random abilities, one of which was the pistol again. So this pistol is going to be strong. The broken Uzi can be good in the right situation, but it kind of just fires randomly in all sorts of directions and isn't particularly helpful yet. So the pistol can go up with big damage. Four shots for the pistol now will destroy those guys. The shotgun is kind of tempting. I think I'm actually going to hold off on that because we're going to get more sharpshooters spawning and that's going to be a lot of pistol work. So we're going to go defense plus for the moment. This one is really good to find this early on. More choices. You can choose between four abilities every time you level up. So that gives us a huge chance to find many more rare things. So I'm deeming this a good luck run. The stuff that legends are made out of. The pistol is just about at the point where three bullets can kill one of the snipers. So that's going to be good once it gets there. I wouldn't mind some rerolls at some point. For now, we're going to settle for more defense plus because health regen is going to be our friend. Given the choices here, I don't want knives because nothing's going to get close to us. Idle income, stupid, tiny spikes, nothing's going to get that close. Quick clicks it is. I once again upgraded the damage for the pistols, so we're doing ever more. We're up to 32, so we're getting very close to being able to destroy them quickly. Here's one I've been looking for. You get one reroll every 190 button clicks. So not only do we get to reroll, but we get to reroll four things. So our odds of getting rare things went up a lot. A lot more enemies are starting to spawn, so I'm going to need some upgrades for my deagle and maybe a new weapon entirely. Well, I won't say no to that. There's an upgrade for our deagle. We're getting 500 points currently for every enemy we kill. So if we could get some more guns and kill some more enemies, that would be good, but we really need to be careful. The stronger we get, the stronger they get. But we'll take more pistol damage. The pistol's very good for taking out those snipers. Do we really upgrade the pistol more? Might as well, if it's offering. Those bullets are getting awfully quick as well. And we're able to take out those guys very quickly. And that's good, because those guys are going to be the only thing that can hurt us right now. We're definitely going to upgrade our points per click. We're going from 44 and adding 76 to that, so quicker leveling. I don't love a lot of the upgrades here, and I'm pretty sure every time we reroll, we get a higher chance of getting things like that. This cannon shoots a big bullet every 16 button clicks that pierces through every enemy. And every time it kills something, almost 2,000 points. I can't even say no to a giant cannon. I doesn't matter. Just give me the cannon. That's going to lob a big thing like that. And especially once it gets upgraded, that's going to be a menace. It might be a little bit slow now that I look at it. But we're going to re-roll, hoping for more legendary. Wow, it actually works. We're going to upgrade five random abilities, which was the deagle, the cannon got an upgrade. Uh, I guess the cannon just randomly spins and shoots in random directions, which... Um, I can't really complain with, I didn't really read that part of it, but it's legendary, so I'm not one to complain. Did we just get a legendary upgrade for a legendary gun? I'd say we did. That adds 9 damage to 37. That is a huge increase. So that feels good. Not as good as if it was controllable, but that does have very, very good penetration, and that's really what we're all here to see. So we're going to try the reroll magic again. Wow, we're getting very good stuff. Legendary big sword. I mean, it doesn't seem to make the enemies any stronger. That's definitely going to help should enemies touch me. I'm a little more worried about projectiles currently, but having a big sword is just fun. On this one, I'm going to settle for Student's Magic Book. That's going to upgrade the sword and our uh, HP thing. We just got Arena and Bullet Bounce. That means the edge of the thing is now a barrier where bullets will bounce off of until they hit things. We can zoom in and out to see this. But for now, oh, the cannonballs bounce too. That actually makes it... Oh, wait, the cannonballs ever stop then? Uh, we might have just found something really overpowered. Uh, okay, we seem to have five of them bouncing around at any one time, but they just continually bounce. So I feel like if we just get our cannon strong enough, it's going to be firing non-stop and absolutely wrecking everything on the map because they are huge and they 
penetrate. But that's good to know. They were going to get even more cannon damage. So at any one time, there's going to be five cannonballs uh, bouncing around the map. Maybe even six if I can manage to click quicker. Now we're absolutely destroying everything on the map thanks to our enormous cannon. And we're just going to keep on upgrading that. There's another four damage, uh, which isn't quite 10%, but every bit of those is certainly going to help. And then they're certainly taking out everything on the map. I'm going to take the student's magic book. That's just a bargain. Oh, plus we upgraded our clicking power, which is 1,000 on a crit with 354 base click power. More cannon upgrades you shouldn't have. They're up to about 60 damage now, if I saw that correctly. And for reference, a lot of these big enemies, the little guys definitely have about 60 HP. The bigger ones at most have 260, 350. We did also get a rare bouncy shield. I'm going to take that. I think that uh, deflects bullets and things around. It only covers a quarter so far, but that's going to be a big, big defense for me. Other than that, pretty much just more cannon upgrades. So we want that to do over 100 damage. That way it's just absolutely obliterating every little thing. And only takes a few hits for the big ones. Although it's already kind of there. So cannonball plus this small arena is just wildly overpowered. Now we're going to take upgrade two random abilities, one of which was our sword. I forgot about our sword. It just keeps giving us cannon upgrades and I'll just keep taking them. That's really the only thing we need at this point. I did two rerolls. The best thing we got is larger arena, which we don't actually want because I want those cannonballs bouncing around in a tight little area. So we're just going to upgrade the deagle. Mostly because it's automated, so it will just shoot whatever's closest to me and that's going to help keep me safe because I don't pay attention to what's around me. 55 button clicks, we're going to spawn a heart that'll get us some health. We're clicking 55 fairly often. Okay, magic book again. Two abilities going up. One is our shield, one is I think our crit chance. Broken Uzi would kind of also be fun right now because it's going to do the same thing as a cannon to a smaller degree. So we're going to take a risk and do that because we're going to spawn more enemies by doing this, but we're also going to get more points by doing that. And the Uzi will only take a few upgrades, but right now the whole thing is just an arena of chaos and bullets and damage. Nothing <laughs> survives for more than a second currently. We're going to improve the cannon some more. The more damage it can do, the cannon is just going to carry us. Nothing else really matters. We do also have a legendary ability. Every 50 button clicks will shoot a huge quantity of the arrows around the button. It's only 14 damage. I don't know if they bounce off that, so I'm actually going to go with a broken Uzi. Aerostorm might have been something amazing, but it also might have been absolute garbage. But the Uzi for sure is going to add a lot of damage. Since those cannonballs do seem to be wrecking everything, we're actually going to also introduce a shotgun. That's going to spawn more enemies, but that's going to give us more upgrade points, and that's going to give us just more bullets going out to bounce around as well. But I think as long as those cannonballs are nice and strong and bouncing around, it's not going to matter what enemies are spawned. And we will aim the shotgun towards the largest cluster of enemies. Uh, at that moment, they never last for very long, but uh, they'll either hit them or they'll bounce off the walls and hit something. We're also going to get approved the ability of the dice roll. We're going to have a small chance for extra rerolls, but it's also going to take less clicks to add those chances. Wizard's Book, upgrade 5 random abilities. And that upgraded a lot of my weapons. Not that they needed the help. I've been informed that I've defeated over 10,000 enemies. To celebrate, I'm going to add an enormous amount of damage to my broken Uzi, which is going to do some work. Those bullets don't penetrate, but they do fire quite often, and they are really making a mess out there. Guess I should probably increase my clicking power. We're going to double that, 600 per click, although it's going to take 300,000 per level up, so we're better off just killing the enemies, which we're doing quite well. Let's add another 3 damage to the cannon. If we can get it up to 100 damage, I'll be happy. If I get it up to 300 damage, everyone will be happy. Damage is slowing down to 2 per upgrade, but if we get a legendary upgrade, that'll be more like 6. Well, there's also a rare saw blade. I mean, we might as well throw that out there as well. So now, now we have a sword and a saw rotating around us. I just got that because it was rare. The cannonballs are still better though, simply because they penetrate everything. Right, another 5 damage? Sure, why not? There is a legendary ability that can make us invincible every once in a while, but I honestly don't think that's worth it. We're just going to upgrade our shotgun. Shotguns going up in damage, that's actually a big increase. Those are really big increases because they fire so many little bullets, so that cluster is actually a big swath of damage. And we're going to do that again. That bullet damage is actually going to be up to 90 now. And it fires those bullets off quite often, so there's so much damage out there bouncing around. Two random abilities going up, one of which was the cannon, our favorite upgrade in the world. Uh, not sure what that's up to right now, but it's clearly wrecking everything out there. Here we go, we get a new weapon and more enemies. Crossbow, every four button clicks, shoots a bolt in the aim direction. Good. Not sure if that bounces off things. I don't really care what it does. I just want more enemies to spawn so we can get more uh, points. Well, what we're going to need here is simply more cannon damage. 
the amount of damage per cannonball out there is absolutely insane. We are starting to get a little bit of harder enemies to spawn, but they're still getting absolutely destroyed. Here's a good upgrade for our bouncy shield. Now we're going to be 50% covered. Student's magic book, two upgrades going up, one of which was our Uzi, one of which was our clicking power. Both super, super good. I think this will officially put our Uzi damage over 100, so that feels pretty good. Uh, the Uzi, I think, are the little green bullets firing around. I'm not sure which ones they are, but they're out there doing a lot of damage. More cannon damage. Even that one's getting close to 100 now, so that's going to be good. And more damage again for cannons. We can actually zoom out if you want to see this on a smaller scale. We basically just created a meat grinder for enemies. They just spawn and just get ground up by cannonballs and absolutely wrecked. We're also going to upgrade the shotgun by a massive amount of damage, and that's actually going to make a pretty big difference. The shotgun does actually follow my clicking, so I get to aim it at whatever enemies, so the big cluster of big enemies gets absolutely wrecked. Hammer? I mean, I guess I'll take that. Every 15 button clicks spawns a hammer that damages and stuns enemies. Yes. I assume that stuns all of them. That is legendary, so I'm pretty sure that's going to have big effects on the enemies. Oh, it actually spawns right on me. I was looking for it. Oh, there's also a mythic. You can now freely control the button using WASD to move around the arena. Oh, okay, great. Also, point drop. Never seen this before. Enemies will drop points when defeated. Points are worth 200% of a button click. And we have up to a 3% chance of getting mythic, which is worth extra, extra, extra. And now we can move around and get right up in enemies' faces if we want to. Either like this, or we can press tab and the camera will follow us along. So we can actually bring our sword to the enemies if we want to. So that adds a new wrinkle to the whole thing. Not sure if it's worth it to be out here. Another mythic ability. Time will stop every 160 button clicks for 3.5 seconds. That's another one that feels wildly overpowered at this point. Considering how strong we already are, everything's gonna stop for 3.5 seconds and allow me to just go sword everything in the face. Our gem drop ability I think is based off our points per click, so we need that to go up. That way we can get even more experience because we're not strong enough yet, clearly. Pretty sure I could just march through the enemies at this point. I could just- oh, oh, time stopped. Oh, I see. We can charge up a bunch of shots, and once time is released, everything gets released. All right, well, we're going to increase our point drop again, because why wouldn't we? Look at all the gems underground. We're killing a lot of enemies. That's our main source of income at this point, so yeah, off we go. I am a wandering orb of doom. We're going to get a rarity increase and basic point increase again. We're going to build up some shots and release them all. Look at all the shotgun shots. Uh, let's increase our points per click again. That's going to give us 5,000 per click, and that's going to give us certainly more on the gems, as I understand that. Broken Uzi can go up to 108 damage in total, which is absolutely absurd at this point. How about this for absurd? Weird Egg. Choose one ability you have acquired so far. This ability will be upgraded every time you level up. So our cannon is going to be leveled up every time we level up. Maybe we should have used that. Uh, can we use that on the Weird Egg itself? That would have been fun. But uh, yeah, every time we level up now, the cannon is getting leveled up. But we could have used that on all sorts of abilities. Well, I guess if you're going to offer us a rare shotgun upgrade, we have to take it. Because we can fire massive bursts of shotguns to destroy absolutely everything. Pretty sure with a run like this, we can just go forever and get literally every upgrade in the universe. Watch this giant blast of damage we're going to fire down. It absolutely wrecks everything. And speaking of which, we need to keep going with our points. Because the higher those goes, the more all of those beautiful, beautiful gems will be worth. But we've got that about caught up because we'd only add uh, 400 points to our click, so that's basically keeping up with itself. So we'll take two random abilities leveled up, shotgun and HP, plus our cannon is forever upgrade. We're about to absolutely wreck that skull in front of us and everything <laughs> in that direction. I really do enjoy uh, how much we're still leveling up, like we're at level 100 and have like no sign of slowing down. I don't know what I did to deserve this luck today, but I should go buy a lottery ticket. Button Ritual. Every 165 button clicks spawn a ritual in a random position. Walk over and touch it to upgrade a random ability. So every 165 clicks, we get something leveled up. Which might also automatically level up our cannon at this point, I'm not really sure. Oh, I forgot there was another legendary weapon. Uh, the cannon damage is up to 108 at this point, and it auto levels, so we're definitely taking the MP4. That means more enemies too. 226,000 points per enemy is killed with the MP4. Oh, look where we're spawning now. He gets a health bar. Oh, there's the ritual. We got to make it here. And once we do, something gets leveled up. I don't know if it says what, but we'll just happily pick that up and not complain. Uh, point drop is going up once again because that's just a good investment in our future. The more we level up, the faster the bigger a cannon gets. I love this charge up of uh, power too. Look at all those bullets. We definitely better increase our point intake. Plus, our cannon just got stronger. Got to make it down to that portal. Touch that. And oh, our clicking power got stronger. It does tell you what upgrade you get. We're going to increase our reroll. Uh, it's going to give us more chances for more things, less less clicks to get there too. 
all the rerolls, we have a lot of good choices. We're obviously going to take point drop. The big boss can survive for just a second, depending on the uh, location of the cannonballs. And that's completely unacceptable to me. So we clearly need a lot more damage. But we're going to see what we get upgraded with this. That was our saw blade. And we're going to launch a whole bunch of damage at the big boss at this point. And got him. We're going to get more points from our gems. The reroll was tempting there. But the more we can reroll, the more uh, better stuff we're going to find anyway. But either way, we're just getting stronger. And every level, our cannon gets bigger. Our cannon damage is up to 124. Plus, if we, I don't know, add a legendary upgrade to that, that'll suddenly put up to 137. For the first time there, I thought the game had a little bit of a hiccup. This one's actually a bit of a tough one, but when you think about it, this ritual uh, is going to show up more often, it's going to last longer, so it's going to make up for the 5 abilities anyway. That's 5 free abilities, that's 100 free abilities long term. And explosion of damage, things were dead before the explosion of damage even got there. It started disappointing in a way. Really, really doesn't need any upgrades, it's already overpowered, but you know what? We're gonna do it anyway. And the button ritual is leveling up again, even less clicks, and lasts for even longer. If it does spawn when I'm on the far side of the map, sometimes I do miss it, but for the most part I hit it, and that's just easy level ups again and again and again. I just realized how fast the cannonballs are getting too, they are just zooming around, wrecking absolutely everything in existence. What I really like so far is that abilities don't really seem to have the ability to max out, they can just keep going and going and going. Like we're up to 500% basic points and 500% uh, rarity increase and that seems to have no signs of slowing down. There's also a legendary dice roll ability that's going to put the button clicks way down and huge extra reroll chance. A short while later we also got another legendary dice reroll so that's going to knock our clicks way down and actually give us a really good chance of extra rerolls. And we keep getting things like this, upgrade 5 random abilities, sure there we go we didn't need those but we sure wanted them. The cannonball's damage is up to 227 at a 202 speed. That's why they bounce around like a real bullet. When the time stop happens, there's no enemies to even fire at because they're already dead. My fun idea now is to see how low we can get the uh, button ritual to. It's already under 150 clicks and that gives us a free upgrade continuously. Here's one we can appreciate. Legendary ability. We can now choose between 5 abilities every time I level up. <laughs> That's even more good choices for me. This feels a little better, and combined with our, all of our rerolls we're going to get, we're going to get a lot of good choices. I just got a legendary upgrade for the button ritual, so that's going to knock 12 clicks off the amount uh, we need to make it spawn. I got a legendary upgrade for my legendary upgrade, it's going to add another big sword, so I'm dual wielding swords. That's definitely something I needed. The game hasn't broken yet though, so we've still got a long ways to go. We just hit level 200, and I feel like we're a little bit stronger than the enemies still. To be fair, they have been evaporating for the past 100 levels and we're only getting stronger. All the numbers are getting very big though, and I feel like the game has to give up at some point. And our button ritual is down to 93 clicks for it to spawn, so every 93 clicks we get a free upgrade. Uh, never mind, that was immediately followed up with a legendary version, so every 81 clicks we get a free upgrade. That's getting pretty absurd. Okay, we've definitely maxed out Button Ritual because uh, it will not go below 77 clicks, at least not on a basic upgrade. And that's sad because I was really hoping I could get that down to a single click, so every time we clicked we got a free upgrade. That would make the game quit. And thanks to our brilliant investing, our leveling is still going really really strong. That green bar is consistently going up. I've also realized at this point I could probably just set an auto clicker right here. And it will just continually take me everywhere I need to go because the cannonballs <laughs> sort of work for themselves and I'll just automatically buy an upgrade. I don't need the floating upgrades anymore so we'll just kind of go like this and, uh, <laughs> and just sort of see what happens. I want to point out that I have not used an auto clicker up until this point. I did this all on manual clicking so that's just how overpowered I was. Now we've gone a little bit beyond overpowered. Might have to turn my auto clicker down a little bit. Uh, the game will probably be fine. I'll just let it run like this. Uh, we're up to 30 uh, rerolls, so that's helpful. But we're not picking the upgrade anyway. Whatever happens to be right there is the upgrade we're taking. You see, it really doesn't matter what upgrade we take because every one of those levels up upgrades those cannonballs. We have like 30 of them kicking around so far, which disintegrate everything they touch. I'm level 260, and this is the first time I've seen double tap. Every single button click acts as two clicks. We we're already <laughs> clicking pretty quick, so this is going to be fun. So I'm pretty sure even without the auto clicker, things are going to go absolutely bananas. <laughs> uh, the enemies can't survive for long enough to do anything at this point anyway. Since the Thanos double click ability, the game is really struggling. I did also find a new gun that I haven't rolled this entire time. So that means even more enemies spawning for even more experience, plus more bullets going out there to, you know, do that damage. I wasn't sure if I could get another weird egg, but I sure can. Choose one ability. 
that you have acquired so far, this ability will be upgraded every single time you level up. I mean, I already have 100 rerolls, so I don't really need any more of those. So maybe we'll just go with the gem upgrade. Because then the more times we level up, the more experience we're going to gain. And that's just going to grow in on itself endlessly. I suspect the game isn't going to last a whole lot longer from this point anyway. It seems to be having a smidge of trouble. But here's another one we haven't got yet. Skull Harvest, Mythic. The button will consume the skull of every enemy defeated, which is a lot. Each skull consumed gives a really small upgrade to a random ability. Yes. At the rate we're, uh, you know, killing things and collecting skulls, <laughs> I feel like good things are about to happen. I've also disabled a lot of the effects and stuff going on just so the game could run a little smoother and it's so far it's much quicker. It's still struggling a little bit, but it's doing its best. The cannon by the way is up to 500 damage. While I feel like I've really hurt the game and accomplished something here today, while unleashing a torrent of damage on the enemies. So let's try ending number 3 against the angry champions. I just hope we're strong enough to take them out, but we'll find out very shortly. Uh, I guess that's them over there. Uh, we're currently in a pause to build up some damage and we're about to fire a whole bunch of damage at that thing if the game doesn't break. Alright, okay we can't hurt that one as it turns out. No health bar, got it. As soon as the game catches up with itself, well they evaporated. Alright, mission accomplished.